Production is gearing up on the next Star Wars anthology film, which will explore the early years of Han Solo. And based on new casting rumors, many fans are speculating that Han will be joined by his first wife, Sana Staros. As we wait for more details on the movie, here are the five things you need to know about Sana. Number one, Sana made her debut in 2015 in Marvel's Star Wars comic book series and has since become a recurring character. If Sana really is appearing in the Han Solo movie alongside her husband, that would mark an interesting shift for the Star Wars franchise. In the past, characters introduced in the comics and novels rarely appeared in the movies. That trend seems to be changing with Snap Wexley from the novel Aftermath Star Wars appearing in The Force Awakens, Saw Gerrera from the Clone Wars animated series appearing in the upcoming Rogue One, and Grand Admiral Thrawn appearing in Rebels recently. It's pretty clear Disney is striving for more synergy between the movies, TV series, books, and comics, making more of a cohesive universe rather than having regular universe and expanded universe. Number two, she's a scoundrel. It takes a special kind of woman to keep up with a man like Han Solo. Luckily for Sana, she has the skills to outshoot, outwit, and outfly this hotshot smuggler. She's a skilled smuggler and bounty hunter in her own right, and she'll have no trouble keeping Aaron Reich's Han on his toes. If Lando Calrissian does indeed show up in the movie, Han will have an unstoppable fighting force on his hands, assuming they all manage to work together. Number three, their marriage was a sham. Star Wars fans were understandably shocked when Sana first introduced herself as Han's wife. The idea that Han Solo ever loved anyone besides Princess Leia enough to marry them was pretty much unthinkable. As it turns out, Han and Sana weren't really married. The two revealed that they merely posed as a married couple as part of a scam. Sana holds a grudge against Han because he ran off with her share of the money. Hopefully the movie will shed more light on their past and what compelled them to pretend to be married in the first place. Number four, she joined the Rebel Alliance. Obviously, Sana didn't shoot Han or collect the bounty on his head. Instead, she stuck around and has started fighting alongside Rebel Alliance in the Star Wars comic, however reluctantly. So far, she seems to get along with Luke and Leia much better than Han. Sana has become a crucial addition to the comic because, unlike Han, Luke, or Leia, readers don't know her ultimate fate. We know Han winds up frozen in Carbonite, and Luke trains to become a Jedi, and Leia has, hangs out with 3PO and, uh, you know, does Rebel stuff. But the fate of Sana Staros is a complete mystery. Number five, she can add diversity to the movies. We've come a long way since the days when Lando Calrissian and that one Bespin guard were the only black man in a galaxy far, far away. Sana is an important step for the Star Wars franchise, not just because she's a black woman, but because she could become the first major LGBT character to appear in a Star Wars movie. We don't know much about Sana's past, but recent Marvel comics have strongly hinted that she once had a romantic attachment to Dr. Aphra, the woman who would later become Darth Vader's personal assistant. Anyway, those are five things that have us excited about seeing Sana on the big screen. Oh, and hey, if you've been playing Star Wars Battlefront, you might recall the EE4 blaster is unlocked by completing a hut contract called Sana's Legacy, because that's the very same blaster that Sana is wielding on the cover of Star Wars Issue 9. And there you have it. Are you guys excited about the thought of seeing Sana make the jump from comics to film? I personally hope Dengar shows up, because I like Dengar, but Sana's cool too. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and for more on Star Wars, keep it right here on IGN, and may the Force be with you.